Hello, this is Larry again with uh, Rapid Set Metal Buildings, and we're going to be uh, working with uh, frame, rigid frame layout today. And the building you see here is a building we sent to Africa for the Navy, as in our example. And uh, to start, let's uh, simply identify frame, uh, frame line 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. In this particular building, we have a, we're actually bracing the left end wall uh, with the rigid frame. So let's get to the angle layout, and you'll see that uh, uh, you'll have frame line one, two, three, four, five, and this particular building has three frame sets. Um, and how that works is is you'll have uh, one set for the left end wall, you'll have one set for frame line two and three, and then you'll have another set for frame line four. And the, and the detailer must have done this because you'll have different attachments on the uh, on the end wall. Uh, you have X bracing here, so there's holes in the uh, columns. Um, and evidently, maybe they separated this because they didn't need the holes. There's 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 not really a rhyme or reason to why, but there's three sets of frames. And to see the frames, let's uh, take a look at frame line one, meaning the one on the the first frame line or the left end wall uh, bracing. And you'll see that it'll say RF1-1 and RF1-2, meaning the first set of frames. And these are the piece callouts, 1 and 2. And in this case, they're symmetrical because they have the same number on both sides. And evidently, this dotted line is the probably the jam for the left end wall, and it has a certain attachment here uh, that would be on your left end wall page. Uh, but that's why this one would be, that would look a little, uh, a little different or separate. So let's go to number two and you'll see again that it'll have frame, rigid frame number two, set or set to better said, uh, piece one and then piece two and then in this case there's, it's symmetrical again. And also notice that um, four frame lines two and three um, it'll say what frame lines this particular frame goes to and also just uh, for reference around page 14 of your typical set of plans would start your rigid frames and a lot of times it just has one set for the whole building no matter how big it is or it might have a whole bunch of sets depending on how the building was braced or what, what the detailer decided to do or if it had different uh, you know flange thicknesses or different engineering or for whatever reason or overhangs attachments or who knows um, but anyway, you want to identify what frame set, meaning set 2, goes on frame line 2 and 3. And then let's go to number 4. Um, actually, frame line 4, but this would be set number 3. Um, and you'll see here that RF3 would be the set of 3, piece and piece, and this one happens to be all symmetrical also. Uh, for frame line number four. So this particular frame would go right here. And it says frame line number four. And the, it evidently has uh, anchor bolt pattern E at the end of that frame. And to show you again, you'll have uh, one, two, three, four, five are the frame lines. But you'll have set one going on the left end wall. You'll have set 2 going here and here and then set 3 going here. I uh, hope that helps and it wasn't too confusing and uh, thanks. This is Larry with uh, Rapid Set Metal Buildings and uh, see you next time. Thanks.